Hello, welcome. Take a moment and read this problem, and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. All right, so this is a problem about revenue and cost and profit. So let's read that. Sally's High School is planning their spring musical. The revenue R can, generated can be determined by this function. All right, so there's some revenue, where T represents the price of a ticket. The production cost, C, of the musical is represented by this function right here. What is the highest ticket price to the nearest dollar they can charge in order to not lose money on the event? So behind all of this, we have this idea that uh, profit, the money you make from, let's say, in this case, uh, a musical, is equal to the revenue you bring in, the money you bring in, minus your expenses, right? In this case, minus your costs. So in terms of a function, I'll call this p of x for profit. It's going to equal r of x minus c of x. And that's just going to be so negative 33t squared plus 360t minus 705t. Now if we simplify this, we get negative 33t squared plus 360t minus 700 minus 5t. I distribute this subtraction here. <coughs> and combine like terms, we get 33t squared plus three, uh, 355t, right? I do 360 minus 5 minus 700. OK. So this is our profit function. And I wrote P of X, I should not have done that. It should be P of T, I apologize. So here, let me just erase this. X is our input, that's still true. You could call it X, but if I'm calling it T, I should be consistent. So the profit based on the tickets you sell equals the revenue from the tickets minus the cost to make the tickets. So this is the function we're going to deal with. Now the idea is that um, this profit function will show you a lot of things. It'll show you, is there an optimal ticket price to charge? And it'll show you how much can you charge before you lose money. It'll, it'll tell you all types of things. What's the smallest amount you could charge to make something? Um, but in order to figure that out, let's, let's just graph this thing. So if I go to my graphing calculator, I press Y equals. I clear off any old equations I have. And the first thing I'm going to do is enter that equation that we just got. So it's minus 33. We'll use X here x squared, and then what? We had plus 355t, or x, and then minus 700. So I'm going to go to zoom first, and then press 0 to fit the graph. Let's see what we get. Get a pretty good picture there. And, and to understand what the domain, the x values, and range y values are, I'm just going to press the window button here. So if I press the window button, it'll give me a sense of what's going on. The x is going from negative 10 to positive 10. Okay, I don't need that. It was too far over, so I'm going to go from 0 through 10. And the y min is really far down. We don't need negatives because if you think about it, negatives indicate the profit. Right, the outputs of this function is a profit function, so it's going to output profit. We don't really want to consider negatives there, so I'm going to go negative 100. And then the y max is 254. So to go to at least 254, I'm going to go to 300. And then I'll press graph and see how my picture looks. All right, it's a little bit better. Now, this function is telling you uh, this x-axis is the amount you're charging for tickets, right? And, or, excuse me, is it the amount you're charging? Or, let me go back up, is, yeah, the price of a ticket. Okay, so it's the price of a ticket. So on the x-axis here, the more you charge, the more you make, up to a point, because logically, right, if you charge too much, no one's going to buy the ticket. So here, if I go up, 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 here the profit's too, it's negative, right? I'm not charging enough to even break even. But this is a point, the first point, where we can charge a really small amount and make essentially nothing, but the ticket would be very cheap. On the other end, over here, it's the optimal ticket price is at the vertex, right? Uh, it's the sweet spot, essentially. We would charge some amount and make the most here. And let me, the drag screen button icon keeps coming up, so I'm just going to go like this. Um, and then here is where we're interested in. 
because they're saying what is the most you can charge before you lose money. So here at this point, we could charge, you know, as we go this way, we're charging more and more and more. Here, the profit will be zero. Anything past that point, we're charging too much and no one will buy it and we'll lose money. So we're interested in that zero. How do we find that? One easy way is to hit second trace. And I'm going to go for a zero. That is a uh, zero of the function. It's asking me for a left bound point. So I'm going to go with my cursor over, over, over until I'm somewhere a little bit to the left of that zero. You know, as close as I feel comfortable getting, about there. It doesn't matter exactly. Then I go to the right of it, uh, about the same distance on both sides. And then for guessing, I can scroll over where I think the point is, where the zero is, and hit enter again. And then it gives me a zero, 8.15. So at about $8.15 uh, is that sweet spot. But to the nearest dollar, that's $8. If you charge more than that, it'll be a negative profit. If you charge less than that, you it showed us that you'd make more. But then that's not what they're asking. They're asking, what's the most you can charge before you lose money? All right, I hope that helped.